Alright, so I get a lot of messages from people asking me to time their beatmaps for them, or asking me how to time a beatmap. So I figured I'd make this short little video tutorial, which will teach you one quick and easy way to time a beatmap. Now this should work for most music, especially most electronic music. Um, there are a few exceptions which will make it a little bit more difficult. Um, that's songs with weird time signatures, or to songs with um, changing BPMs. I know those Nightcore guys drag their tempo sliders all over the place, but for the most part, this should work. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go up to the Timing tab here, click on that, and then come down to where it says Timing Setup Panel. Click on this, this will open this little window here, then go up to the Timing Points tab on the new window, and then go down to the green plus sign. That'll insert a timing point on your beatmap. Now, for now, we're just going to leave those values as their default. Click OK. So the first thing we're going to want to do is set the offset. What an offset is, is where in the song our timing point starts. So where we're going to begin counting the BPM from. So the way that we find this, what I like to do is go down to the bottom right here where it says playback rate, change this to 25%. And what this means is we're going to be listening to the song at 25% of its actual speed. Because it's so much slower, I find it much easier to f hear exactly where the song starts. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to listen and hear exactly where the song starts. Okay, so in this particular case, the song starts exactly on this second little bar line. It's not always going to be that easy. But the next thing you want to do is go into your timing setup panel and click on use current time. Now for me, that's exactly 500 milliseconds into the song. But um, if, for example, it wasn't exactly on a bar line and it was, you know, in here somewhere, I might then have to move it forward a little bit or backwards a tiny little bit just to get it absolutely perfect. But that's a fairly straightforward process. Now that we've got our offset, the next thing we want to do is find the BPM of our song. So most of you probably already know this, but a BPM is beats per minute. That is how fast the actual song is. Now, the first thing to know is what time signature our song is in. Most of the music you're ever going to be wanting to map in Osmania will be in 4-4 four, four time. That means that there are four beats in every bar. So what we're going to want to do then is find where those four beats are, and as soon as we hear the fifth one, that is where the second bar of the song should start. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to listen. See here we just heard five beats there? That fifth beat is where the second bar should start. So I'm going to listen again and pause exactly where I think that sound is. Okay, so I'm a little bit ahead, but it should be fine anyway. Over here, this is the second bar. And that is where we should be starting. Now see how it's ahead a little bit of where we actually are? That means our BPM is too slow. It needs to be fast enough that that little bar is exactly where our cursor is paused. So first of all, I'm going to change the BPM and make it go up a bit. So I'm going to make it 150. Now see, it's still a little bit ahead, so um, since I am a little bit ahead, I'm going to change it to 170. And that looks absolutely perfect, so let's have a listen to that. Okay, hear how it slowly goes out a little bit more each bar? That's because we're not quite at the right BPM. So let's try just going up to 175. Okay, let's listen again. Alright, that sounds perfect. But we are at 25% speed, so it might sound and feel a bit different at 100% speed. So let's try that now and listen to that. So we go back down to playback rate and click on 100%. Alright, that sounds perfect, but I'm sure a lot of you have played beatmaps like this where it'll slowly go out of time as you play the map, and it will seem fine at first, and this is especially annoying if you're mapping it, and you get halfway through mapping it, and then you notice that it's been going slowly out of time the whole time. So, what we're going to do is go, you know, halfway, maybe a little further than halfway into the song, and just make sure it's still in time. And that sounds perfect. This song is um, 
Blaze by Corn and Beans. You can find it and download it on his Newgrounds page. I'll link that in the description. So, now that we've got our BPM of this song, it's kind of lucky that this didn't have any BPM changes, but if it did, I'll show you how to handle that. Let's say I listen to the song, and I notice that the BPM changed exactly here. What I would then do is exactly what we did before. I would create a new timing point. I would use the current time so that the offset of the next BPM we're inserting is exactly where we want it to be. And then we undergo the exact same process. We listen for the four beats and we figure out what the BPM of the new section is. I hope this has helped some of you and uh, thank you for watching.